So it's a bit of a windy one today, but it is sunny and it's kind of clear. It'll do. Um, part two of the brakes on the 335D GT. Right, let's get the back end in the air today and um, let's get the back brakes done. Simple as yeah, wheel off. This one don't look as bad as you'd want. Still a lip on it. Still needs changing. And that's what we've got over there. Right, let's uh, let's get into it. Should we do that? Let's. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> right, so that came out pretty easy. Um, the back bolts, let me spin you around and get some light in there. The back bolts are not the same as the front, bizarrely. So they, to me, look like a... 14, 15. Let's have a look. Oh, they're actually um, 16. 16 mil. Bizarre. Right, that's this side off. Um, the handbrake pads look pretty good. They don't need changing. To be honest, because they're automatic, you just leave them in gear anyway. So um, I don't think either of us really use the handbrake. Right, bit of a clean up. And then, uh, yeah, get the disc back on. Or get the new disc on. And then get the caliper in and change pads over. Uh, as before, a bit of a clean up, uh, obviously a little bit of copper grease just around there, uh, just to stop it seizing in. Bolts back in, the tension bolt, so it's pretty solid now. Gonna stick the caliper back on, and uh, yeah, then it is time to get the brake pads out. Now, on this particular one, on the back, there is a wear pad, uh, it's in there, I'll show you better in a minute. But if you trace the wire back, the box is right up there. So I'm going to take all this out and I'm going to try and just manipulate it out the pad when I get the pad free. So uh, bear with. Right, as these have thread locker on them already, there we go, a little bit of, um, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Well, I'll put some thread lock on these, but uh, yeah, at the moment it seems to be a little, um, a little boned. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> Tell you what, the old Clark tools still work well. <laughs> On. This is a very bizarre way of holding brake pads in. Very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. I can't get anything on there. Let me get a punch. Punch will start it. <laughs> Let's try again. I don't like this idea. I don't like this idea at all. I ain't moving. I ain't moving at all. So that was a lot harder than it needed to be. That was absolutely rusted in there. I don't think that's ever come out. <laughs> ever. Since the car was built. Which doesn't surprise me, but yeah. That, um, that was a struggle. BMW, not a good design. Well... 
finally got them both out what fun that was i mean they were absolutely solid in there jeez oh, right <laughs> new pads in then we've got the other side to do oh this is going to be fun right so that's the pads out this is the wear sensor i was on about so um yes my faithful assistant can hold this what we should be able to do is just get a screwdriver in there like that and gently and i mean gently because they are fragile and obviously the older they get the weaker they get Okay. Bump like that, and that's all it is. It's a little brass sensor, and just there is a nodule. And when that nodule gets ground away, and it uh, basically makes contact in there, it arcs everything out, and then your light comes on. There you go. Right, let's get these new pads in. <sighs> wow. Yeah, they are the originals, definitely. They've never come out. They um. Yeah, they were gunked in there, big style. <laughs> Right, new pads, let's go. Right, we're good. Brake on. Caliper on. Brake pads in. Wear limit on. Hammer hit. <laughs> yeah, that was um, a lot more difficult than it needed to be, to be honest. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, bruised the, uh, bruised the uh, pinholes a little, but um, yeah, we got some touch of paint. You put some on there, it'd be fine. Uh, main thing is, brakes work good. So, um, yeah, it's now on the other side. Rinse and repeat, um, but hopefully a little easier than this side. A little bit of ZX9R Ninja paint. You know, I didn't notice we've been there. <laughs> All right, go on, boy, get that wheel cleaned. Go on, need the wheel back out. I can smell magma. Yeah. Ooh, that stuff stinks. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. God's sake, don't get it on the white. <laughs> see it move it that way a bit. Oh dear. Yeah, that stuff. It's good stuff, but oh my god, it stinks. Yeah, they're looking sharp when it comes up. Shiny. <laughs> right, here we go again. Let's see what fun and games this here gives me. Bit of the good stuff first, of course, and then, uh, yeah, a little hammer drill. <laughs> right, a little bit of first of all, hey, hey. much easier. Apart from when it chips the bloody paint. No, uh, that one's solid. It's definitely easier with that, but yeah, it just makes a bit of a mess, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well, can't be helped. Right, onwards. Right, well, they came out a little bit easier. Um, so, yeah, made my life a, a bit less stressful. Uh, so both the pins are out now. There they are. I mean, again, all gunked up and stuck inside. They were a bit of a pain, but not as bad as the other side. Uh, I think definitely the hammer drill to get them started is the way forward. Um, yeah, I don't like using it much because it does make a bit of a mess, but uh, what can you do, eh? Um, it's a 30 year old design, <laughs> I can't believe they're still using it. Anyway, right, let's get the brake pads out, caliper off, dish changed, and then we're finished. Well, all cleaned up, new disc on, obviously copper grease everywhere because we love that stuff. And now, noisy, noisy time. <coughs> yeah. Stuff. <sighs> Another good. Mm. 
to give them a uh afterwards. Not to uh, us, just a uh. Like this. Yeah. 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 Perfect. We've got a lot tight on many bikes, so they can carry it anywhere. But, uh, grunt never hurts. I'm sweating. <laughs> right. Pads. Ain't got a sensor in this side. So we're good. One in. Bit of piston action. Yeah. Two pads. Here, here, let me show you. There you go. Two pads in there. Just like that. Obviously, now I've just got to get these horrible things back in and that springy thing back in there with and we're back on the ground and that's about my job done so all the brakes have been done now front and back um back was uh, a challenge to say the least <laughs> but we're done so that's the main thing um what the boy plans to do now is an oil change so um yeah he's um i think he's telling me to bugger off and he'll do it himself <laughs> but that should be uh, should be quite an easy job but anyway there you go uh, 335d brakes all new all new pads all the way around nice and shiny nice and clean good now for another hundred thousand miles at least <laughs> right that's where i'm going to say uh, a fair do to you and i'm going um Maybe the boy will uh, video himself doing the. Um, he's making a noise, God. Yeah, maybe the boy will video himself doing the oil change. Who knows? There may be another video to come. I'll leave the camera out. It's entirely up to him how he does it. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Sorry it's been a bit long winded uh, and in two parts. We planned to do it in one day, but yeah, we lost the light. But it's done. That's the main thing. Brakes are done. Brakes are done. Stop good. Yeah. It's a big old tank. It needs to stop good. Really too tight. Right, I'll leave it with you then. Yeah. Bye-bye all. <laughs>